fund. But the fiscal year begins with us 100 trillion in debt and derivatives. I've defied on the radio and everything else, anybody else, to tell me how you can value a derivative. I've said that on Coast to Coast five years ago. And a derivative is just a, an instrument created by the people and they, we got insurance companies to insure it so they gave it some kind of value. Of course, that insurance company went broke, didn't it? And then the government stepped in and they immediately rescued that insurance company. And why did they immediately do that? Because it was holding all the funds for the retirement accounts for all of the congressmen and settlement. Did you know that? It's an inside deal, guys. We're playing with a, a, a stacked deck. When I was inside the Beltway, we used to sit down. Remember they just got you marching on Washington because of the health thing? We know the health thing's dead. You all know it right now. But it's a way they're trying to get the American people to line up to get shots, to get regulated, and everything else. We have problems. We don't have any goods coming in. Last, this is last week now. A small company called Walmart got a billion dollar loan. Now what's a billion dollars? Anybody know what a billion dollars is? Yeah, it's a $10,000, $100,000 homes, or $5,000, $100,000 homes. Of the million houses that went into foreclosure in the last 12 months, half of them are back in foreclosure. Did you know that? In, in England today, one out of seven households, in England, one out of seven households, there's no job. How many people are unemployed here in the United States, and what is the one thing that's killing everybody? is the secret thing that's going on, it's called inflation. How many times have you gone to the store lately and see what the price is going up? Do you think it's going up 1%, 2%? The true figures are getting closer to 20%. And you can, you can prove that, go buy an apple. Did you know 90% of the cost of an apple and all the fruits and all that is in transportation? 90%, why are the farmers going broke? What's happening? We have a problem because of greed, non-coordinating everything, and energy. Everybody has to have some kind of energy. None of the energy solutions that they're providing are cost effective. I don't care what they put on them, whether it's windmills or whether it's anything else they have. Nuclear may have it, but it takes 10 years to get a plant going, but nuclear has a problem because nuclear is the only thing, nuclear energy, if it goes off, will destroy the soul energy. Real problem, it disrupts it. The extraterrestrials are monitoring all that. It's not a question of what's going on because there's a thing called free will. If we're crazy enough to kill ourselves, that's all right. They're prepared to encapsulate the planet and make another sun out of it. There's groups of extraterrestrials that are considering us that they engineered us in the first place. I've been traveling around some places like in Ecuador where the Anunnaki and stuff have things where they were originally involved. And you can read about it in Genesis, where they're engineering people. We're engineered. We're all extraterrestrial. And when you leave this, what I call Renorec, this body, you become an extraterrestrial, right? This soul continues the journey whether it's here or not. And there's no such thing as death, only in the, with the one exception that the ETs told me, if we get hit by a nuclear, there's a possibility. So what you have to do every day when you do the little prayer, and I hope you all do, I'm a human becoming, help me become, ask for protection and guidance daily. I don't care where you live. There's gonna be places that are safer than others. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. I mean, I, I was with the, the guy, the second in command, the FEMA head down in Phoenix. And he said, well, we know what's coming down for California because you're getting ready for the San Andreas to break. And that's going to be before the war. I have some kind of, I've been trying to figure this out because I saw San Francisco totally, the pictures of it totally collapsed. And it was because of an earthquake. It wasn't because of the war. So it has to be fairly shortly because these guys are running behind time. The Plan 2000, just so you know, calls for a war to get started in the Middle East in the year 2000. Now they've been trying to do it, haven't they? How much bombings do you have to put up with? Israel was set up in 48 specifically for this purpose. I mean, it's an incredible deal. So you're gonna watch, Netanyahu was gonna, he went up to Russia because he's, he was getting ready, he says, we're gonna hit Iran. Guess who supplies Iran with all the nuclear technology? Russia. 
Russia pulled all their scientists from all of the reactors and everything down there. The Iranians wanted to do was build plants to recycle the nuclear waste. You're all familiar with nuclear power and radiation, what it does? You need the United States. You know, they called me a few weeks ago from Alamogordo, New Mexico. There's a lot of nuclear stuff down there. You know what our government's planning on doing? Burning radiation. Does that make any sense to you? We've already tried this experiment, right? Didn't the United States, when we discovered nuclear energy, we started exploding nuclear bombs in the higher atmosphere. That has formed an energy beam that has eaten holes through the ozone. None of the CFC malarkey. CFC is, is the stuff in the refrigerators. It's cold. It goes down to the ground. It doesn't go up in the air. It's kind of like using a cell phone and turn them off in the airplane. Hey, that's all microwaves. You people don't realize when you put a cell phone up to yourself, you're microwaving yourself. And it's all done by the microwave tires we're aiming at the ground. They don't go up in the air anyway. It's all line of sight. People don't realize that. If you have a cell phone, I have one, but I don't use it as a speaker phone, so it's held away from me. Because what it does, it's up next to your brain, and now they're, they're coming out with a TV special next week to tell you on all the cancers that are being formed. Remember the vibration that's coming into your ear? The, the, the receivers in there are vibrating and that's being translated into your brain in order to be offset. Now we have two systems going on within your body. That's your conscious mind, which is remaining, which is supposed to be awake. And it's supposed to be awake because of a, a, a hormone called serotonin. You're all familiar with that? When the sun comes up, serotonin comes in, and here, here we are, a 3D world. I mean, you don't need coffee. You can have the serotonin, it's natural. And at nighttime, the sun goes down, and we have what? Melatonin. Melatonin allows you to go to sleep. Between, consider this, since you've been reading the books, you're all an extension or a part of the creation. We don't care what you are. You're part of the creation, an individual spark, but the information and data that you do during the daytime is being fed back to the creation between the hours of midnight and four. You may be disrupted because of all of the ELF and everything else that's going on right now, so communication from other dimensions is being, quote, guarded, it's being checked as much as they can. All of the energy streams and stuff they're building up in Canada right now to wipe out, quote, the internet, which has taken over the, the whole system right now. Uh, the, they announced this morning, by the way, Google is gonna allow, allow you to buy print on demand all the books you want from their library. Now, Google went to all the major libraries on the East Coast and downloaded all their books. So you can get them all for basically the cost of a download, or you can download it for free. Gonna keep you focused on, this is something to let you know. As a publishing business, people don't buy books anymore. They'll watch a VD, the, the CD or DVD or whatever else we have for a while, but they won't sit down and think anymore. I want you guys to take some real time to be with you. Who's the real you? Go home, turn the TV off, turn the radio off, if you want to, read the handbook a little bit and just sit and meditate and ask for some guidance. Guys, we, we know what doesn't work, don't we? Nothing's working right now. We're still increasing the population. We don't have enough food. We don't have enough distribution to take care of the planet. In theory, politically wise, it's possible to feed the planet, but the planet was engineered for 500 million people. They even made a monument to this already down in Georgia, the Georgia Guidestones. There's some people out here that's been there and looked at it. It's in eight languages. It gives you their goal, one world order, one world religion, 500 million people. I happen to know they're gonna have 20 million Americans. That's what they're expecting in the United States. And why do you think they build all these prisoner of war camps? which I was asked to build one, as you probably know, in downtown Las Vegas. This is interesting because they're happening all across the United States right now behind because we let ourselves go to sleep and we've been assumed, what's the TV going to be talking about the next 12 hours now? Obama and his health care program. Well, they've already told you it's not going to go. It was a basically a control system to get everybody lined up. Under the FEMA rules, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the president already has the authority to suspend the Constitution, whatever that is at this point. 
And what they do then, they're gonna require you to go to the post office and register it. And when you go to the registration, you're gonna to have to have a current social security card. If you don't have it, you're gonna to have to get one. And they're gonna give you the new world, what they call the world cash card. That will allow you your rations. It'll also give them a chance to find out if they want you. Their cutoff deal for people is age 44. Anybody over here over 44? <laughs> if you have the talent that they can use, they're gonna allow you to continue. This is almost like the beginning of the Fourth Reich or Hitler again. I mean, when Hitler and his group left, I don't know if you know this, but Hitler didn't die in, in the bunker, that was his cousin. But they, most of those guys ended up in South America and they're all over the place. And I have government documents proving that along with Stalin and everything else and even the airplane that they were on. That when he left from Germany and went down to Spain and then got aboard a submarine. These are, these are things that people don't know but this is just a play. They keep the inner group going or keep them asleep on all these things. Now some of that maybe sounds strange or not but if you go search it out you'll find it. And I was curious about that because when I was in Cuenca, in Ecuador down here, uh, Borman's grave is there. They had all the German wealth that they brought over there. And Father Crespi got some of it and the rest of them. And a lot of them went down, as you know, the Germans ended up all over South America. So it was just a game to play. They could disperse the thing going down because he was going forward with the deal. Well, right now, the people behind the scenes are going to go forward with it. They're running out of time. September 30th, I said, is the fiscal year. We're going to begin in debt. The problem is, again, we're hitting a cycle within the planet itself and the system, so you're going to see the stock market just collapse. There's nothing behind it anyway. Now, here's another thing. When the last time everybody got scared, so what did they do? They had about a trillion dollars in money market funds. How many people have money in money markets? There's a few of you. In the last six months, You've moved your money out of stocks and whatever and put it into money markets. So there's $3 trillion of money market. Now, if you're a money market manager, where do you put the money? Buy California bonds? <laughs> Would you loan money to California? Seriously. So how, and California by statute and all the states don't have the ability to do anything other than tax the people to get their money. They can't create it like the Federal Reserve. Interesting. So you're looking at the eighth largest country in the world, California, tubing it. Meanwhile, real estate is real interesting within in itself. And as you know, I was a real estate developer. My last major project was $100 million. The, uh, the situation with real estate, it's only controlled because there's money out to lend on houses. People don't have any money to buy houses. And right now, the new rules, if it's less than 200000 in price range, they, they go under one of the new government guarantees and they give them an $8,000 credit. If they don't sell the house, they have to keep the house for over three years. Otherwise, they have to come back and repay it. But even so, they're resetting it down. They are, they're coming back and resetting some of the loans on people, but they come back in on the appraisals. They got to come back with a current appraisal. That's the deficiency in the appraisal on the current house, i.e. Sun City, Arizona. How many people have been over to Sun City? House prices are down 55%. Did you know that? Yep. Phoenix is at 50%. Florida's got the same problem. Las Vegas, you got a whole con brand new condominiums over there. They're totally empty. You've been down on the strip and seen them? They're there. And the people out here that are greedy say, well, I'm going to go out and buy some of these houses. So they go out and buy the houses that the people have basically destroyed and they fix them all up, but there's nobody out here to buy them because we have to have, have people working. How many people do you think are really unemployed across the United States right now? What is the unemployment factor? You think it's 9.99? You're, you're close. 25% was the answer that they're talking about. That means one out of four. Now we got another problem. One out, it's not a problem, it's just information. One out of three people in the United States work for the government. Did you know that? What do they do here in California right now? They don't have the money. They give you a furlough, isn't that right? How many people here are on furlough? See? They're not paying. And if they did, they give you a chit that they won't honor anyway. When it's going to be good? I'm urging everybody right now to buy gold and silver. I mean, gold may be at a thousand, what was it yesterday, 18 or something, and, and whatever. It's, you know, you have to buy like 50 bucks over. Right now, silver is the better buy. 
China is, has also put out $250 billion dollars 